It's early June and we're on holiday at a part of the Kent coast which at first glance has nothing to recommend it to the naturalist in me. The beach being filled from seawall to shoreline by massive cut boulders for over a kilometre in each direction. But I'm always exhorting viewers to keep enjoying the wonders of nature wherever they are so I felt it was my duty to just man up and try getting to grips with the place. The first thing to fall under my scrutiny was the sea wall itself, the top of which was quite liberally encrusted with lichens. Yellow and grey kinds can be seen here. Strange things lichens, they're dual organisms made up of two or more different life forms living together in a symbiotic relationship. Most are formed from a partnership between a fungus and an alga. I found animal life on the wall too, most notably in the form of these little red spider mites. Looks like a couple of them have a momentary spat over hole ownership. Let's see that again. Here we go. Get out, it's mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Here's a closer shot of a spider mite emerging from another hole by some lichen. Still on the sea wall, elsewhere I found more little critters in the form of these little black beetles and this strange wee beastie with a tapered abdomen. Down some steps towards the shoreline I spotted these two little isopods which I believe to be what are known as sea slaters. Then something bobbing around in the sea caught my eye. It was a grey seal, just the one, just bobbing around. Nice. Returning to the top of the sea wall, it was time to have a peer over the A259 and see whether there was anything of interest on the landward side. As it happened, there was couple of foxes. Otherwise just a pheasant and a crow. Having made my way somewhat further along the sea wall I did eventually come to a ramp which at low tide did lead down to something more like a beach allowing me to get seaward side of some of the boulders. Maybe now they might yield things to satisfy my naturally curious mind. I don't know whether the green growth covering much of the rocks is some kind of seaweed, alga or moss. Do you know? If so, do let me know either in the comments or via the Facebook page. The clumps of brown seaweed are familiar to me. They're bladder rack so called because they have conspicuous bulbous air bladders. And here we see hundreds of tiny little barnacles and a sandfly. And lots of barnacle encrusted mussels. But what's this? Looks like a little dark brown blancmange stuck on the rock. And more jelly-like blobs. But what could they be? Ah, now we can see, because the submerged ones have got their tentacles out. They're sea anemones. Although on the land we think of anemones as being flowers, sea anemones are animals closer related to jellyfish and corals. I believe these are examples of the beadlet anemone, Actinia equina, which is common all around our coasts here in the UK. From soft to hard now, limpets. Just like the mussels, they also were encrusted with lots of tiny little barnacles. And that pretty much rounded off that day's exploration of the beach. 
but sometimes it can just be soothing to watch the waves rolling in. So for a while, that's just what I did. I couldn't stay there all day though. I needed to start heading back to base for a trip out with the family. But on the way, I did just manage a few peaceful minutes at this little spot, just on the landward side of the coast road. It's where a farm access track crosses one of the drainage channels from the Romney Marsh. It's true, isn't it, when they say that the best things in life are free? A couple of days later, I returned to the same spot on the beach where I'd filmed the sea anemones. Only this time, due to the tide not yet having dropped enough, the bottom of the ramp was still underwater. From the other side of the rocks, I could just about access a small portion of the beach but all I could really film was the sea rolling in across the sand. Thanks for watching. I hope this has shown you that even in seemingly barren places, there's still interesting wonders of nature to be found. You just need to know how and where to look. Get naturally curious and you'll be rewarded. If you've enjoyed this video then do please share it on your social platforms and get others on board and do join me again soon here on Naturally Curious UK. Stay safe, stay sane, stay curious and keep enjoying the wonders of nature wherever you are.